Welcome back to another Naval News segment. Today we're going to talk to, about the Nord Stream explosions and some of the positive repercussions that have come out of that. I'd like to thank YouGov for sponsoring this video, but more on them in a minute. So Saab Technologies got my attention this week with their latest undersea rover that is both tethered or autonomous. And we're going to go over its capabilities today because it's a really impressive piece of kit. So let's take a look just generally at what Saab is offering with its Sabertooth line of undersea drones. And they have many others that we can cover in the future if you want. But we're going to focus on this one. They have both a single hull and a double hulled. Uh, the single hulled can go down to 1200 meters, which is pretty good. Uh, the double hulled one, a little bit slower at four knots instead of five, can go to 3000 meters. Uh, that obviously requires a, a larger electric engine. It has a 300 kilowatt hour um, capacity. The autonomous six degrees of freedom of motion are available on both. And that's really important because what that means is it can uh, maintain station in an undersea current, regardless of what direction that current is coming from. So you can maintain any orientation you want on an object uh, undersea uh, in any part of the world, as long as it can get down to the depth that you want it to get down to. So that is key. Uh, both, of course, have cameras and sonars. Uh, the sonar element of this I find very interesting. And of course, they have a high voltage uh, tooling motor. And the reason why I'm making this video is this little bit right here. It has an undersea garage that will house the Sabertooth for up to six months without maintenance. So you can set it, put it in autonomous mode, give it step-by-step -step instructions, and also instead of retrieving it every time you want to use it, you can leave it on site. It will maintain uh, its charge in this garage. Very cool technology. Now, a word from our sponsor. Thank you to YouGov for sponsoring this video. Have you noticed everything is much more expensive these days? You're right, it is much more expensive. According to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, the United States inflation rate rose from near zero in 2020 to over 8% in 2022. This is a significant cost increase to all of us. I found an easy way to help deal with higher cost by earning cash and gift cards from YouGov. YouGov.com is a site that pays you for your opinion. When you scroll through other social media sites leaving comments, likes, and emojis, you're giving away your opinion that is then sold to marketing companies for big bucks. YouGov is different. YouGov pays you for your opinions. On YouGov, you have a wide range of topics from entertainment to politics and more. Simply click the topic that interests you. YouGov will tell you up front how many minutes it will take and how many points you will earn before you begin. Head over to the rewards section and see all the different options you can have for getting paid. I prefer the $100 direct deposit to my checking account. Click the YouGov link in my description box Create your account today and get paid. All right, welcome back. Uh, the stills that you're gonna see in this video are from the Saab YouTube channel, so credit to them. And I will be linking the Saab YouTube video for you to watch the full three to four minute video of this uh, promotional uh, segment that they have. It's a really cool piece of kit. This is called the Sabertooth, and it is an autonomous underwater drone. It can be tethered, uh, but it doesn't have to be, which makes it very versatile. And uh, you can see how big it is here. They got a couple crew members uh, getting it loaded onto what looks like a cradle. And the man holding the orange cable looks like that may be the tether for it. So it can be tethered, but it doesn't have to be. Yeah. So this is a close up of one of the uh, engines that has multiple engines all the way around it so that it can maintain six degrees of motion, six degrees of freedom. Um, and so it can operate, like I said, in any current. And uh, it's a uh, you know, battery driven, it looks like. Uh, with a, with a cable on it as well for data communication and probably power as well. Here's a nice shot of uh, one of the ends of it. This looks like the rear end that has a couple of the three bladed motors. It has a number of these motors facing in different directions on both sides, including up and down for it to be able to maintain uh, uh, station keeping in currents that may push it you know, vertically as well. So here is the uh, control center. Well, this is really cool. So this looks like this is portable. This can be set up, you know, anywhere that you have enough space and uh, power to power these screens. Um, he's got a little control panel there. Let's get a close up of that. This is kind of cool. So this is apparently how they drive the drone around. And you can, uh, you have a manip manipulator of pairs for the drone and a manipulator for a camera or some other device there, as well as a number of uh, power related switches. Um, now it does have station keeping technology and that would imply that it's able to autonomous, autonomously stay in place without you having to manually uh, steer it there. 
in this screen grab, you can see the quality of the image that they have coming from the camera mounted on the saber tooth. And it gives you a lot of interesting information as to where your uh, device is at, the pitch, the depth, uh, altitude, you know, the forward speed and the sideways speed, you know, the fort speed there, uh, all available on your screen. And you can see that it's maintaining position at zero knots over this, uh, looks like a, a tire or some kind of target they set up for it uh, for this promotion. Now, we have some great underwater shots for you. Again, this is all from the Saab YouTube channel. Um, here it is docking with what appears to be that garage we were talking about, or maybe some kind of version of the garage. So the saber tooth comes in and it's got a connection on the bottom side of it. And there's a small port that it will line up with and, uh, and dock with it. I've got it. So one of the really cool things about the saber tooth is that they've integrated underwater communication through the water. And they do this in two ways with sonar communication, sound communication and light communication. And that is a technology that the Navy has been working on for 40 or 50 years. And if Sonardyne has perfected that, I would really like to see what they've done with this technology. So if by chance this video somehow comes across Joe's desk here, uh, you know, hey, hit me up on an email or something because I'd love to come take a look at what you got and, uh, you know, maybe offer something if I can for you, you know. Uh, but this is really exciting technology that they can now have autonomous drones be directed via sonar communication or light communication underwater and have it work autonomously for up to six months at a time with that garage facility on site. So that cuts down a lot of the logistics of bringing the device, the undersea vehicle to and from the site continuously. You can just leave it there and it'll always be ready for your, you know, for, for your job. So well done. This whole um, setup was done uh, over in Sweden where they invited some people over to observe this exercise. It went really well and uh, it was really exciting. It's a shame I didn't get to go. Maybe I can go on the next one though. And Saab has a whole family of these underwater drones. The Sabretooth is just one of them. And this one looks very promising. I think this is the future. And it's because of incidents like the Nord Stream explosions uh, and that countries are becoming more aware that the undersea domain isn't just for anti-submarine warfare. You need to protect your undersea infrastructure as much as you do your land infrastructure, whether it's a power plant, an airport, a bridge, or an undersea pipeline, you need to have sentinels, sensors that can at least detect intruders, damages, or you know assess repairs and make the repairs. Uh, that's why you need uh, vehicles like this Sabretooth. So, Good job to Saab. You can see the full Saab promotional video. It's about four minutes long. I'll have the link in the description. And thanks for watching.